Um, it's a little windy, but then again, it's Northern California and we're in the valley and we get wind. So I got a media mod for my GoPro. So we're gonna try that out because it's windy out here and nobody can ever hear me um, because of the uh, wind. I'm trying out the new media mod. I go check on my garden. See how many plants are growing. Ooh, I've got a tomato, a uh, strawberry down here. Have to get a hold of that before the bugs do. Looks like the bugs are already after it. And my tomatoes. Ooh, we're already getting tomatoes. And my corn is popping. Ooh, looks like about all that. Okay, so back to you guys. So anyway, yesterday I had a delivery. So I'm gonna go into the barn and show you what I had delivered yesterday. It's pretty psyched. So it's summertime and if you don't follow my channel regularly, you probably don't know that I have, my Arabian Jalal is extremely allergic to pretty much everything. He's allergic to bugs primarily. Um, and every year we go through this problem with the bugs. So I got new electricity in the barn this year. Yes, Jalal. So I got electricity. So of course we're running our evaporative cooler, which keeps the barn very comfy at 81 degrees so we're at 81 degrees in the barn um, and the, the new thing that I had installed yesterday the evaporative cooler has been here so sorry about that but anyway yesterday I got this so this is a fly guard system so, so the two guys came out yesterday um, and I shared my channel and my Instagram with him and we've followed back and they'll be coming in servicing my unit so I can actually uh, let's see what time is it it goes off every hour so there's a schedule over here a fly guard system and if you want to get a fly guard system just tell them you got it uh, referred by me and it helps out with the uh, refilling of my system for my highly allergic horse. A little bit of a plug, sorry. But anyway, <laughs> um, the fly guard system, they put it up here, I don't know if you can see that. So I have, in the aisle, I have two nozzles and then each stall has its own nozzle. So uh, right now it's right above my lights. Let's see it up there, right above the lights. And it goes off every hour, and there is manure in here, but he's not surrounded by flies, huh? So he's very happy with his new system, aren't you? Yes. So he has the broom heads over there because he rubs his shoulders and skin, and you can see the rub marks on his shoulders. Yes, that's your rub marks. So he does this every year and he ends up tearing up his body, um, rubbing and he's irritable and he's miserable and the poor thing just, you know, it's terrible. So anyway, the fly system, I was going to check what time it is, the fly system goes off every hour and the flies are summarily dispatched every time it goes off. So yesterday we had to have the horses outside going to go off in five minutes so we had to have the horses outside while they did the install in the stalls obviously you can see this one up here right above uh oh, yeah. yes 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 it's all about you yes i did bring carrots in here yes i did okay i'll get you a carrot um 
so I had to have the horses outside while they were doing the install in the middle of the day. So Jalal kept opening the door <laughs> and I forgot to warn the guys um, that Jalal opens doors. My bad. So I came back in the barn and uh, Jalal's out there slamming against the door mad. And then the door opens and he goes, oh yeah, he came in here. You just started walking in here. And I said, hey, I forgot to tell you, he opens doors. <laughs> so um, that was kind of funny. So he opened the door like three more times trying to get in because he was so fed up and angry about the flies outside. And then when they did come in, he was, all of them were loaded. They must have brought two, 300 flies in the barn with them. And um, then we had the fly system go off and it's set to dump quite a bit of fly spray in the barn um, because of how allergic he is. So they've got it going every hour and um, it's pretty concentrated, I guess. But it's got a timer and a pump on it. And um, let's see if we can open this. Sorry, Taylor, we're gonna, we're gonna open your bag up. So <laughs> let's see if I can get in here without making a mess. Uh, let's see, okay, we just tied it that way. So this is the what it looks like under the, the little bag. And you can see there's the PSI when it gets ready to do its thing. And then it's got this timer. And um, if you're thinking about getting a fly system, because um, I've been looking at them for a couple of years and I'm like, I don't know how to set this thing up and I don't know how to do all this. Um, don't. Call, call Fly Guard Systems and have them set it up for you. Um, they know what they're doing. They come in, they set it up where I wanted it. They put it all together. They were a lot of fun. We had a good time talking about music. Um, so we had a good laugh, but uh, I really enjoyed them and they were very professional and I, I can't say anything, you know, any, any nicer group of people. Very, very helpful. Cause I literally called Friday afternoon uh, on Friday morning, I guess, on my way up to the barn where my other horse is, because my trainer has a, a fly system in her barn. And I and she's had it for, for quite a few years, so I knew about the fly systems. That's why I've been looking at trying to get one. And you can order a kit online and do it yourself, but then you're gonna have problems. And that's what uh, the guys told me, is that people get these systems and they put them together themselves and then sure enough, they have a problem and they have to call them out and have them come fix it. Or they put a system in and then somebody starts tinkering with it and they change the settings and they gotta come out and fix it. So let them do it. <laughs> it's not that expensive and it's well worth um, the effort. So shameless plug for fly guard systems. Again, fly guard system. And uh, totally psyched with the system. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a, um, a talk through on my new system. And they come back and they service it too. So part of my system is we get a, a servicing package, package. So they'll come back and they'll make sure it's running properly. They'll fill the contents up, make sure it's mixed properly. Um, so I don't have to worry. I can make sure that my barn is fly free. Um, and, you know, just like any other high-end barn. Um, I guess uh, UC Davis has eight systems. They do dairy, um, you know, like dairy cows. They do dairy barns. They do Disneyland, which I was surprised. Didn't even, it didn't even occur to me that, yeah, that would probably be a good idea to have a fly system at Disneyland. Um, they do them at, all, of course, all the high-end barns with all the very, very expensive, wealthy people. Um, a whole bunch of slew of, you know, people that they go and service. But um, then there's me. <laughs> and my little allergic horse. So, you know, we can have systems in our barns just as well as, you know, the multimillionaires can have them in their barns. And our horses deserve to have some fly-free uh, time so that they're not inundated with flies all summer. I just happen to have a horse that's extremely allergic. So I have very few options. And that's why I have an enclosed barn. Uh, that's why the barn is insulated to keep, keep the heat down. That's why I have an evaporative cooler to keep the temperature down in the barn. And that's now why I have a fly system to kill the bugs. So it should be going off in a few minutes. I'm gonna see if I can catch it. So I wasn't 
wasn't sure if the system was working and I didn't know how to test it. So um, Taylor, who uh, was one of the installers, he was texting me. And I said, hey, I don't know if it's running or I hadn't, haven't seen it going off because, you know, I've been doing things and I've been in and out. And it's hard to hear it go off with the evaporative cooler in here. So he called me just a couple minutes ago and he had me take the, um, the cover off. So I'm going to take the cover back off and uh, I'm going to show you what he had me do to make sure that it was working because I wasn't sure. It's supposed to actually go off on its own in a couple minutes, but we're going to, well, maybe, yeah, it's supposed to go off in a couple minutes anyway. But anyway, so you can see here the, um, the system at zero PSI and there's this little lever here and he told me that's the manual. This is the time that it goes off. So that's the timing one. So he said to lift that up like a light switch, which I did. And then the system energizes. And then we murder flies. So then we come back and I have to shut it back off. And then it'll re-engage with the regular time. So there you go. That is my handy dandy little system. And thanks to Taylor for the fantastic over and above and beyond customer support. Uh, couldn't be happier. Got to murder some flies. And the system is working as is. And the funny thing is, is um, it missed down the, the fly stuff. And then the flies like start running for cover and then they start twitching and then they roll over on their back and die. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we are murdering flies, but it's okay because Jalal is extremely um, sensitive and, and bug allergic. So it's, it's for the benefit of the horse that we murder the flies. So sorry, flies. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the little uh, demo of my new system. I'm quite happy with it. And shout out to Taylor and, and the people at Flyguard System. And I'll put a link in the description below so that way you can go check them out. And um, pretty psyched. So happy days. Bye.